and we are almost ready here to go in another race at the Weifold Challenge Cup. Ruder Club Nürtingen from Germany and the UK Armed Forces Rowing Club. See how these crews fare in these somewhat Attention. swirly conditions, Tom. Yeah, it's certainly not a, what I could describe as a straight tail or headwind. The wind doing some peculiar things with the water. You can see there the Germans really leapt out. The yellow boat on the left hand side of your screen there in full focus. They look like they've really gunned it out at the start and have already established something of an initiative. Yes, absolutely. Big strong crew here from the uh, from Germany. In the three seat, Dominic Imort, actually 115 kilos, it says here. It's an average crew weight of 94 kilos, as we see there. The UK Armed Forces Run Club crew on screen, an average of 83 kilograms. sitting about a length down on the Germans, so we would expect the power of that German crew, maybe a bit of the weight that they have on board to really blast out of the start, but will they be able to hold off this lighter, higher rating crew from the UK Armed Forces? This is the same Dominic Immort that I think it is. He actually won the Britannia Challenge Cup with Rudin Tennis and Hockey Club by a Labour crew in 2016. So an athlete who knows the Henley course well, I would be surprised actually if he perhaps has the foot plate. He's well accustomed to making his way down that 2,112 metre stretch. And at the moment, the Germans really, really taking the race to the UK Armed Forces. Impressive. So we see the UK Armed Forces growing club on the screen there. In the stroke seat, Luke Granger. George Redmond behind him, T. Jackman in the two seat, and Edward Carpenter in bow. Probably technically struggling in these conditions a little bit. You can hear just a little bit of a stuck on the water there. So it is really bumpy. It's really tough conditions out there. All of the boats, a little bit of breeze. This isn't easy, easy going out here on the course. Now we spoke with them a couple of days ago, and they've only actually been rowing together for less than two weeks, and they've been preparing on this course for about a week. So, sort of very much novices to this crew lineup, and, and perhaps that's telling here because the Germans just stretching out with every stroke. It's so nerve wracking sitting down at the start, not knowing what to expect, and quite often you see these crews as they do take a more commanding lead, they stretch out and they start to breathe up and realize it's going to be okay, they're going to make it through the next day. So, I think that the German crew here on the right hand side of your screen, Ruder Club Nürtingen. Looking pretty calm. And I mentioned before Dominic Imort at 115 kilos. He's actually the heaviest oarsman at the regatta, according to our information. Well, they say horsepower doesn't win you rowing races, but I can imagine it does help. As Jürgen Grobler famously said to Sir Matthew Pinson, rowing isn't dressage. Having that real horsepower to get you down the course from point A to point B is certainly a contributing factor to a lot of the winning sort of Olympic and Henley Gold crews that we've seen in the past few years. The Germans now really just enjoying their row down the course. They can try and perhaps conserve a little bit of energy for tests that lie ahead, as you said, Sarah, the Whitefold Challenge Cup, one of the most fiercely competitive events at the regatta for club cotless and fours. Actually a wide open field this year with a, a number of crews who could potentially be writing their name on that famous trophy. So we see a great shot of both of the crews there coming towards us. The German crew in the lead on the right hand side of the screen. Having a fairly easy time of it at this stage in the Whitehall Challenge Cup over the UK Armed Forces Rowing Club. You're just watching the UK Armed Forces struggling a little bit now. It's always quite disheartening to be. Not an ear shot or eye shot of your, your opponents, but 
athletes from a variety of different military regiments, actually, from the 42 Commando Royal Marines, the Highlanders 4th Battalion in the Royal Regiment of Scotland, the RAF and the Royal Air Force Music Division. So four different sections of our armed forces here in the UK, and fantastic, actually, to see them out competing at one of the world's most prestigious regattas. And they've been together for less than two weeks. They've been training here for a week, but rowing together for less than two weeks, which is quite remarkable. And these are not easy conditions, as we've been saying. It is a challenging course at the best of times uh, with the wash and uh, the flow, but certainly with a little bit of breeze on the water, it does make it challenging. Particularly in a Coxus 4, it is a tough boat to get together. And with only two weeks, I think a very strong showing here from the UK Armed Forces Rowing Club crew. A tough draw against the Germans here, who've led reasonably comfortably from start to finish. Yeah, like I said earlier, Sarah, it's that classic cliche. If you make the trip from overseas to compete here at Henley, although it is a beautiful regatta, and although it is a bucket list event for a lot of athletes, you assume you have a bit of raw speed that can take you through at least a couple of rounds so you can properly get a feel for the course and the sort of competitive element that drives this this event forward and the Germans showing here they certainly have their cruising speed to perhaps cause problems later into the event. Absolutely, it will be interesting to see how they stack up against some of these other crews later in the week. Will the regatta's heaviest competitor be able to pull his crew to victory? as we progress through these rounds in the White Hole Challenge Cup. On screen, getting a cut from the crowd. We're sitting out enjoying some fantastic conditions. Nice and cool, but the sun is out. Great for the spectators. Coming down to the line, the White Hole Challenge Cup is Ruder Club Nürtingen from Germany. We'll take the win over the UK Armed Forces Royal Club. 